Welcome into Dave Campbell's Texas Football Instant Recaps here at the UIL State Championships in Arlington. I'm Max Thompson. That's DTF, DCTF High School insider Matt Stepp. And Matt, these plucky upstarts from Alito, I think they might be going places. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think I think they might have a chance to win a few more state titles uh, to add to their ledger because wow, that was a pretty thorough butt kicking of Fort Ben Marshall 50, uh, on the field. Yeah, 55-19 in the 5AD2 State Championship. Uh, Alito secures their eighth state title uh definite royalty around texas high school definite football. royalty as if they needed any more confirmation they were already royalty but they're, they're even there even more now and I, this steve wood guy three, you think he could, you what? think he might be a, you think he might do some things three state check this out steve wood has been a head coach at alito for five years he's got three state titles Not a bad. state semifinal appearance what was that all and a state final appearance huh. so his worst year was 13 and 2 losing in the state semifinals <laughs> Talk about setting the bar really high in Alito, Good which is already Lord. incredibly high. It's a, it's yeah. an unbelievable run, and and what a great team. I mean, they. Yeah. Uh, I thought the biggest key in this game, Max. Uh, you know, Fort Ben Marshall had a lot of great skill kids, but Alito up front, trenches, utter domination on the offensive line, unbelievably strong. And uh, J Chase Chase McClellan had four yeah. first half touchdowns. They didn't even need him in the second half. No. It was already out of reach, and, and and they put the backups in, and they put up big numbers. You know, one year ago they lost here 20-19, to 19, and you could tell that that was sort of the battle cry all year. And I, I think one performance to shed light on is is the quarterback, Jake Bishop, right? A yeah. year ago. He'll be the first to tell you, not a great performance, and he put on a show here. It's night and day. He has clearly come a long way since that game. Uh, that, that touchdown in the third quarter where he rolled to the sideline and threw a, uh, threw a dart into the end zone yeah. to his tight end for a touchdown. Yeah. Uh, you know, a year ago, he doesn't make that play. I don't think yeah. he has the arm strength to make that throw. He's obviously worked. He's gotten bigger. He's gotten stronger yeah. and improved quite a bit. He made some great runs, too. When, when they when the defense collapsed on McClellan, uh, uh, Bishop hurt him with the, with yeah. his legs as well. So yeah. a, a, a complete effort. And I thought the Alito defense uh, wow. did a great job really harassing Malik Horns yep. all night and, and yep. forcing some turnovers and uh, really keeping uh, Devin Achan, uh, you know, in, in check. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, have to, you know, Congratulate Fort Ben Marshall for making it this far. The adversity they've faced the last few weeks, unbelievable. And just to get here for the first time in program history, period. Yeah. Right? A really, really tremendous accomplishment. Uh, James just ran into the wrong team. Yeah, James Williams and his coaching staff did a wonderful job this year. I mean, you, people forget Fort Ben Marshall is one of the smallest 5A Division II schools in the state of Texas, um, and, and they don't have a lot of great numbers, but they, they get the most out of their kids, and their coaches uh, did a wonderful job. They just, just ran into a buzzsaw tonight. Yeah. Bad news for the rest of 5A Division II. A lot of these guys for Alito are back next year. Especially the skill spots. Uh, Jace McClellan, who seems like he's been there forever, has got one more yeah. year. Bishop's got another year. And they got some young guys in the pipeline. Uh, Hampton Fay, uh, JoJo Earl at receiver. Yeah. They've got some young guys on the defense who stepped up, like DeMarco Roberts yep. and some young defensive linemen they rotated in. So uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Alito's probably going to be a top-10 yep. team again next year in 5A yeah, Division II. I think so. we got one more day left in the season, but I can already tell one of the storylines next year is the chase for number nine and a unique special spot by themselves as football royalty in yes. Texas. They got one step closer today with a 55-19 win over Fort Ben Marshall. Congratulations to the Alito Bearcats champions yet again. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day. Texas high school football season.